Denver Broncos model high view, no commercials, no bullshit. Um, I decided to do a, uh, a review on Fuller, cornerback Fuller from the Bears. There was a lot of talk uh, going on, uh, what I call talking point, sports talk radio, and the talking points were Fuller's um, interception ratio went down. And uh, I think this is, again, one of the statistics with no um, context behind them. I think the way that defenses are being attacked these days, again, I mean, Colby have been trying to get people to understand to look at the Super Bowl and see exactly how actually both teams' defenses were attacked. Obviously, Tampa Bay's uh, approach was much more successful. In the five games that I watched uh, the Chicago Bears' defense play, I became less and less interested in, in Fuller and became more and more interested in how exactly uh, these teams, Saints, Green Bay, Texans, and uh, the Falcons and Tampa uh, were actually, I think it was six games, uh, two Saints games. I became much more interested in how the offenses, how they were attacking uh, the Bears. Um, I just want the, the viewer to know that uh, uh, it's really important to see how offenses are attacking defenses today, today's NFL, to understand the role of the corner, how important the corner or how less important it is from the traditional sense, which is kind of what I'm thinking, in evaluating, you know, interceptions and this kind of thing. Um, it really was kind of lackluster. It wasn't anything on Fuller's part. Uh, my overall view is he's he's a fine corner. There's, uh, we'll go over it, but uh, but it's, to me, what, what I was watching was essentially how basically Tampa Bay took care of uh, Kansas City. Uh, the, and also the way the Denver Broncos are being attacked. Um, and that's usually more like in the middle of the field, less on the edges. So you don't see a lot of the bulk plays going to the sidelines. I mean, there's a place for that during a game, but the bulk of the offensive plays are, is really in the middle of the field. So a slot corner is definitely a lot more um, desirable. And I, you know, Callahan plays that real well if he's healthy. Uh, if not, I do think that uh, Fuller can uh, step into that slot corner role. Um, but really, linebacking is is really if the more you look at film and if you watch the Super Bowl, linebacking coverage is becoming more and more crucial to how you get an offense off the field. Uh, because uh, in the in my opinion, I think that the Bears' uh, linebacking crew is better. It's a step up from the Broncos, and they're still getting attacked there, but that's no different than the way Tampa Bay was attacking uh, the Kansas City Chiefs in the Super Bowl. But I think that this is a pattern throughout the NFL. I think that attacking in the linebacking area is really the, the high percentage of where the passing game is and that's why I think that uh, the, we're, the corners are a bit overstated plus I also I want to mention that uh, uh, I believe and Colby believes that uh, the, uh, the safety for the Denver Broncos position has been totally over hyped and, and like last year what we were finding in our film study was that uh, our corners weren't getting the help over the top from the safeties uh, that they should have gotten, and I, I, don't, I do believe that that's going to also be the case uh, next year as well, and especially with Simmons getting the money he has, I think there's going to be even a, a bigger spotlight on him than there was this year. Here we have the Saints versus the Bears in the playoffs, and really, I only have two really significant plays um, to show you, and, and two, I'm, I left plays out of this this film study because they were just, they weren't spectacular, they weren't bad, they weren't... <laughs> They were just kind of what I'd say what you'd expect from a corner as a non-mentionable. mentionable. But the one thing I want to say is that the ball really never went Fuller's way. That may be a good thing, but I don't believe it was just because, oh, we're afraid to throw his direction. I think a lot of it had to do more with just the way plays were designed. This first uh, video, we have a nice breakup from Fuller. Now, just a minute later, he gets burned on this play. Okay, let's go to week eight, playing the Saints, and uh, basically have a very nice coverage on his part.
here's something I want to uh, something I noticed when I was watching the film. This is Green Bay Week Twelve. They Bears really get their the defense really gets their ass kicked in this game. In this play, Fuller loses his man in the red zone. Uh, easy touchdown for Rodgers. One thing that the Bears defensive coaching was doing, uh, and I didn't like it, they were playing Fuller like a safety. And if you can see in this, he's almost he's playing this safety role. And he leaves the wide out wide open, you know, right in the red zone. So just not – I really put this more on the coach. I It's just someplace I wouldn't play him uh, in this safety role. It, he, I will say this. I don't think that uh, Fuller is really a zone guy. Now, I mentioned that the uh, no safety help. This is similar to what I've seen with the Denver Broncos in this play. Here we have a lackluster effort by Fuller to get off his block and – prevent this running back from making the touchdown. And here we have a nice breakup by Fuller in the end zone, preventing a touchdown. Week 14, the Texans and the Bears. The Whip Bears come out with a big, a huge win in this game. But again, where the, the Texans are attacking is, again, in the, the middle of that field. Uh, and I, since we, this was the Texans, I took the liberty to, to kind of look at Watson as well as the defense for the Bears. And, it, you know, Watson definitely has a, a crap offensive line. But one tendency I, didn't, I don't like about Watson is Watson has a tendency to hold on to the ball too long. He wants to uh, rely on his legs, and it usually gets him a sack. Okay, Bears versus Tampa. Now, this is an interesting game because this is the game Bears won. What struck me is that Cleo Mack had a really good game, and he was constantly in uh, Brady's face in this game. And in my opinion, that was really one of the difference makers as to why, again, this, it wasn't this time Mahomes. This time it was Brady with an, a defensive lineman in his face. And this is why me and Colby uh, consistently are, are like pounding the table to get that interior push. Uh, Brady loses this game. On this particular play, Brady attacks that soft underneath, catches Fuller lagging behind uh, his receiver, and uh, turns out to be a big game. Now, here's a great play by Fuller. A big hit by Fuller. A quick reaction to uh, the pass by Brady. Hits that receiver hard, nails him good, ball comes out. 